In the competitive world of business, how do we create a long-lasting business, grab the attention of consumers and thrive? The answer is by being different. Today we will be talking about the book Zag by Marty Neumeyer. This book is all about standing out, differentiation, and when everybody zigs, you zag. But before we get started in talking about Zag, I just want to say if you want more videos, more book reviews, more conversations about design topics, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video like this one. Throughout this book, there is a lot of checkpoints that answer a question. But the general checkpoints go into the field of these so-called sections, which are marketplace clutter, finding your zag, designing your zag, and renewing your zag. Marketplace clutter. The marketplace is saturated and the customers choose what brands survive. But how do you fight through the noise? The mind blocks out the noise. So the way to not be blocked out is differentiation. In a oversaturated market with lookalike brands, consumers will choose based on the brand identity and based on the idea of who that makes them if they buy from this brand. My favorite quote from this section is, in a world of extreme clutter, you need more than differentiation. You need radical differentiation. The new rule, when everyone zigs, you zag. Find your zag. The idea of Zag is finding qualities of good and different. Zag is found in new market space where there is unserved communities. Hello fellow designers, I'm here just to pop in and tell you about Envato Elements. It is not a sponsor of this video, it is just an affiliate link but I really believe in their products and I just wanted to shout them out. So I use Envato for any fonts, any stock imagery and videos, any mock-ups and more. So let's get back to the video. Designing your Zag. This section really goes in depth into designing your Zag. It is hard to summarize this part as it does go over a lot of different ideas on how to design your Zag. A insight that I find interesting is a lot of brands are admirable with being innovative, responsive and consumer focused, but zagging is when a brand defines itself by what makes them unique, not admirable. A concept that I like is the onlyness statement, which is a framework for Zag. Our brand is the only blank, that blank. This statement really helps in finding your Zag, but also seeing if it helps, focuses and purifies our brands or the opposite. One thing that I found interesting is the focus on the brand name, which often can be one of that has been given the least amount of attention. Here we get a guide on what a brand name should include, such as name should be brief with four syllables or less. Appropriate but not too descriptive. That sounds generic. Easy to spell, easy to pronounce. Renewing your zag. This section is all about knowing your status of focus, size and momentum, which is described as a rock, paper, scissors. And it's all about finding where your business is and finding opportunities within it. E.g. opportunities in your strengths and reducing your weaknesses by also exploiting your competitors' weaknesses and opportunities to prepare for your competitors for their counter-attack. But also knowing when your brand is in a unstable status and a stable status. And to find the opportunities within your brand, ask yourself, what is stopping the change? Who is that problem for? And what would happen for it not to be a problem? One thing that I really liked about these books by Martin Neumeyer is the summaries at the end. It reminds you what you have learned and read and the main ideas making this summary so much easier and allowing you to revisit and remind yourself easily. If you have enjoyed this book, you may also enjoy the book Brand Gap also by Marty Neumeyer.